Acts, chapter 18. And after these things, Paul, having departed out of Athens, came to Corinth, and having found a certain Jew, by name Aquilus, of Pontus by birth, lately come from Italy, and his wife Priscilla, because of Claudius, having directed all the Jews to depart out of Rome, he came to them. And because of being of the same craft, he remained with them, and was working, for they were tent makers as to craft. And he was reasoning in the synagogue every Sabbath, persuading both Jews and Greeks. And when both Silas and Timotheus came down from Macedonia, Paul was pressed in the spirit, testifying fully to the Jews, Jesus the Christ. And on their resisting and slandering, having shaken his garments, he said to them, Your blood is on your own head. I am clean. From now on, I will go on to the nations. And having departed from there, he went on to the house of a certain one, by name Justice, a worshiper of God, whose house was adjoining the synagogue. And Crispus, the ruler of the synagogue, believed in the Lord with all his house. And many of the Corinthians hearing were believing, and they were being immersed. And the Lord said through a vision in the night to Paul, Do not be afraid, but be speaking, and you may not be silent, because I am with you, and no one will set on you to do evil to you, because I have many people in this city. And he continued a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. And Gallio, being proconsul of Achaia, the Jews made a rush with one accord on Paul, and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, This one persuades men to worship God against the law. And Paul, being about to open his mouth, Gallio said to the Jews, If indeed, then, it was anything unrighteous, or an act of wicked recklessness, O Jews, according to reason I had borne with you. But if it is a question concerning words and names and of your law, look to it yourselves, for I do not intend to be a judge of these things. And he drives them from the judgment seat, and all the Greeks, having taken Sosthenes, the chief man of the synagogue, were beating him before the judgment seat, and Gallio was not even caring for these things. And Paul, having remained yet a good many days, having taken leave of the brothers, was sailing to Syria, and with him are Priscilla and Aquilus, having shorn his head in Sanchera, for he had a vow. And he came down to Ephesus, and left them there. And he himself, having entered into the synagogue, reasoned with the Jews. And they, having requested him to remain a longer time with them, he did not consent, but took leave of them, saying, It is necessary for me by all means to keep the coming celebration at Jerusalem, and again I will return to you, God willing. And he sailed from Ephesus, and having come down to Caesarea, having gone up, and having greeted the assembly, he went down to Antioch. And having stayed some, he went forth, going successively through the region of Galatia and Phrygia, strengthening all the disciples. And a certain Jew, Apollos by name, an Alexandrian by birth, a man of eloquence, being mighty in the writings, came to Ephesus. This one was instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in spirit, was speaking and teaching exactly the things about the Lord, knowing only the immersion of John. This one also began to speak boldly in the synagogue, and Aquilus and Priscilla, having heard of him, took him to them, and more exactly set forth to him the way of God. And he, resolving to go through into Achaia, the brothers wrote to the disciples, having exhorted them to receive him, who, having come, helped them much who have believed through grace. For he was powerfully refuting the Jews publicly, showing, through the writings, Jesus to be the Christ.